Hello there, Fellowship of the Rider, Harvey here. Today is a special video because we got a box opening. I I sh I shit it. It's already open from the bottom. And it's already open because it, it totally got me by surprise. Um, I wasn't really expecting anything and they called me from the department office and told me that I got a package. And what I got was um, a little note, some medical filters, and not one or two, but three corn cobs. And in pipe tobacco, I got um, Sir Walter uh, Relay, Relay, a pouch, and Cherry Me Middlestone's Cherry Blend. And I have this cup already packed with the Cherry Blend. Now, uh, it, totally, it, it got me totally off guard because uh, I wasn't expecting it and and it turned out that Ron uh, pipe smoke pipe smoke on the Hudson uh, sent me a message because um, in one of the comments that I wrote I, I I shared that I have never tried a cup and it's something that I wanted to try and what a coincidence uh, one of these nights when I was talking with um, with a couple of guys uh, by Skype, I shared that I I bought one and I gave it away uh, to a fellow pipe smoker here in in Korea. I haven't heard from him again. And uh, there is there is a little note, but not that little. But there is something that I think more than one could um, have some benefit from, and that's if it's okay uh, with Ron, I would like to to read it. Um, and he says, so no credit for me, this all, this all is wrong, so thank you once again. And what he says, um, I quote, uh, first, it's quite, s it's, no, first, a quick, simple process that might help you with the enjoying of the cup. If you look down into the bowl, you will see where the tenon, I think that's how you call it, but I think he referred to the shank. Um, goes into the bowl so down the bowl right there when the where the shank meets uh, the the bowl you'll um, you'll see where the drill hole is that some pieces of cup look thorn, look torn loose sharp or maybe about to break off what I do is take a scissor a pick or a small plier reach into the bowl and remove those little pieces what I have learned is the loose looking pieces will burn and then break off and fly into the back of your throat. A shocker at first, lol. Once it happens a couple of times, you learn to clean the edges of the tenon. Once again, shank. Uh, so thank you very much. I did my, my homework and I use um, some words what I use. And it's not, ooh, ooh. And it's not nearby. But I clean it up and I also took the time and, and cleared up inside as well of, of the shank. So without further ado, my very first smoke with a cob. Where's my tamper? Where's my tamper? Okay, here it is. And here we go. I have to say that this tobacco burns um, a little bit bitey. Um, not that it bites me. I, 
I haven't found any tobacco that actually causes causes me tongue bite, but I can recognize when it's smoother or not. Well, that's dangerous. The first impression that I have of the pipe is that it's extremely, extremely light. Um, I wouldn't even feel it if I'm just walking around with this. The other surprising thing is Usually when when I lit a pipe, um, it gets I can feel the warmth almost right away. Mm. For I'm not a big fan of cherry, but this is not bad. <laughs> It's really, really smooth. I will have to to talk with Monique about the room note of this one. Because it's really, really smooth. So Ron, once again, thank you very much, sir. I cannot express the the strange feeling that I have um, with the generosity that the community shows, uh, I'm certainly is gon gonna enjoy this uh, <laughs> for quite a bit. Mm. I can see why people say that it's dry and cool. It doesn't get hot at all. A pleasant smoke. A really, really pleasant smoke, I gotta tell. My friends, as always, puff away. <laughs>